Thanks, Nathan. Uh, my name's Tim Street. Uh, I'm the manager, wholesale market, uh, within the uh, market design team at the Electricity Authority. Uh, yeah, welcome to this uh, event. I think it's going to be a really interesting day. I also mentioned that I also welcome all the people connecting to us through, um, and I'm a bit of a technophobe, so I'm going to refer to it as cyberspace. Uh, I think Peter's got that there's already quite a number of people, um, nine, um, and there might be a number of people in, in each one of those, so that's great. Um, and there's a process by which we can take questions, and so that those people who are observing us from afar can really participate, um, in addition to sort of, so everybody in this room can hear, so they can hear, we'll hand around a microphone um, during questions. So there's always that eagerness to get on and just start your question, but just ask uh, if you can um, wait for the microphone. I guess on that basis, it's also useful to mention that um, probably what you say uh, will be kind of recorded. Um, so, so yeah, just, just in fairness to you that, that that's the situation. Uh, Perhaps just another point to kick off with, um, and I don't think of myself as being that old, but the truth of it is I probably am now, uh, and been part of things for a while. And I do uh, remember in the earlier part of my career attending what was called the Market Pricing Working Group. And this was a working group that um, was during the NZEM period of the electricity market. So probably reasonably shortly after the establishment of the market in October 1996. And uh, I wasn't actually a member of that group. I was filling in for Darren Gilchrist at the time, who was a member, and they were discussing real-time pricing. They were discussing uh, the value of introducing real-time pricing, um, questioning whether it would actually be useful um, and, whether it, and, and exactly how to design it. Of course, they were referring to what we have today, indicative real-time pricing. Um, but they were talking even back then that eventually we should have the confidence or the value to actually move from it just being an indicator but to it actually being what we settle on. Um, and, and I don't think many people would begrudge the value of indicative RTP prices today. I think those people making decisions in real time actually utilise that information a lot. Of course, there are some frustrations with that. At the time, it's perhaps most important to get an accurate price signal or a reliable price signal which goes infeasible. Or on occasion, there's only reasonable endeavours to make those prices available prices can dif disappear altogether. So um, I think there's tremendous value in this development, particularly when you think about the climate of new technology, more responsive systems. Um, the timing of this couldn't be better um, to coincide with that. On that point, um, just for clarification, there, there I guess has been the challenge with the project to get funding because it is it's going to cost a reasonable amount to introduce this change. Uh, and. Uh, it's great to see that the Minister has um, got a, a paper through Cabinet that a special process had to be followed uh, within the year to get that approval, so it shows a tremendous amount of support for this proposal, even at the very highest levels. Um, and just in that, just a little bit of, I don't think we necessarily have anybody from MB or Treasury in the room, but they were really um, helpful, tremendously <laughs> useful in the process of championing that change through the process, so that was really appreciated. Actually, just a bit of a call out, I guess, also is actually a number of, oops, a number of you uh, in the room, uh, or people in your organisations are actually quite public in your support for RTP, and I think at that critical moment, and that was actually also really influential um, uh, in getting this proposal up and away, so that is greatly appreciated. Uh, let me see, I think there are some of the main things. I guess questions, we really encourage them, um, so fire them in. People will be keying them in over there, so Peter will be, at the appropriate moment, will be uh, mentioning those. Um, the other thing is, I guess, just a bit about the, the point in the process we're at. So, from my memory, it's 30th of April submissions are due, is that correct? So that's something to bear in mind. So the main purpose of this briefing is to describe really what's in the consultation paper, to give you a chance to, I guess, ask questions and clarify points there, and, and hopefully informing your submissions. On that, it's actually useful if, if you're generally in agreement. You might not normally see the, the need or value in letting us know that, but we actually value that information. If, if we don't receive a submission from someone, we can't assume they agree. It's useful to get that feedback. Um, the other thing is about the process and, and think about 
the stages where we will go on beyond making the code on the assumption that happens, and by code I mean not software code but the, the rule book code, um, is that then that will be the template for software development. So building and more detailed design will start immediately from that point. Um, and while we have an engagement group and we might continue to use that as a vehicle to get feedback, um, it's really not efficient to get f detailed feedback on the code after the building starts. So the engagement group might be more on the, the finer detail of the solution and the, and the actual software and the systems the system operator is developing. So it would really help us to have a smooth development period for you to write uh, any feedback that's, um, that you want to give in this submission process that's, that's underway now. I think they're the main points we want to cover. Peter, I might just check in with you. Have I forgotten any key points to mention? Okay, so I just um, hope, hopefully this is, I think this is going to be a really interesting day. Um, I really compliment the team to put together the consultation paper. It's, it's a tricky topic. Um, uh, it's, it's quite com complex in parts, and therefore I think the tremendous value in actually a more face-to-face -face interaction. So, uh, and it's a really important topic, so I think we're going to have a really interesting session today.